tip of the nose exhale tip of your nose slowly inhale now raise your hands above your head stretch stretch try to straighten your elbow moving from the shoulder blade you will feel a slight arch behind your belly button at your lower back that is your lumbar stretch 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 as far as you can 10 more seconds ago yogis do your best now don't move your hands bend both knees to your heart now behind your belly button can you press the lower back down your lumbar it's called reverse squatting pose Twenty seconds to go. Thirty seconds here, yogis. The lengthening of your lower back, your lumbar. You got five bones behind. Now hug your knee. Exhale. Can your forehead touch your knee? Now hold the breath. Do not breathe. Now inhale. Head down. Now exhale, head up, 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 <clears throat> hold the breath, inhale, head down, exhale, up, 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 hold your breath, inhale, head down, exhale, up, 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 hold the breath, inhale, head down. Exhale, up, 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 up. Inhale, down. Now last, exhale, up, 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 up. Now inhale, head down. Now exhale, hands like a T. Straighten your leg up towards the ceiling. Now can you move your leg like you're cycling a bicycle? If you can, all the way down to the floor. Cycle, uh, cycle, imagine. To strengthen your knee and your hip, you will feel the thigh, the stomach muscle. Also to strengthen your back. Do your best, yogis. Circular motion as wide as you can. Now reverse the other way around. Fifteen seconds ago, Yogi. Now, pause, put your feet on the floor. Now, don't move. Inhale, push your hips up, pressing your shoulders down. Realize that the strength is on your shoulders. Now, exhale, body down. Inhale, push your hips up, press the shoulders down. Exhale, hips down. <clears throat> Inhale, hips up, hold the breath, exhale, down, inhale, up, 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 exhale, down, now last, inhale, up, exhale, down, now turn your body to the right and come up sideways slowly now straighten your leg imagine i'm sitting down legs wide like a v hands on the top of the head now turn your body to the right twisting of the upper back between the shoulder blade now close your eyes relax your neck 
just to remind you, can you visualize that your breastbone, your heart chakra, anahata, three o'clock. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, turn to your left. Can we say your heart chakra, nine o'clock. Twisting of the upper back. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the right. Now, can your left elbow touch the right thigh? If you can, uh, slowly, slowly. Then inhale up to the middle. Come back to the middle. Center. Exhale, turn to the left first. Right elbow, left thigh. Inhale up to the middle. Exhale, turn to the right first. Then left elbow, right thigh. Inhale to the middle. Set number three. Exhale to your left. Right elbow, left thigh. Inhale to the middle. Now exhale, palms down. Now put your feet together, butterfly. Interlace your fingers. Now elbow out. Can your elbow touch the floor? Can your forehead touch the big toe? Use your body to come forward. The body is called the trunk muscle. Using the trunk muscle to open up your hip. 10 more seconds, 20 seconds here, you guess. Then slowly now exhale up. Now your right heel in, then the left. Interlace your fingers, relax your thumb, hands on the bum. Now lean forward to your best. Can your forehead touch the floor? Don't raise your hands. Now close your eyes. Relax your neck. Now don't move the neck. Don't move the body. Inhale, two hands up behind. Raise only your hands. Hold the breath. Exhale, hands on your bum. Take your time. Inhale, hands up, 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 up. Exhale, hands on your bum, your glutes. Inhale, hands up, 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 up. Hold the breath. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, 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 up. Hold the breath. Exhale, down. Last, inhale, up, 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 hands. Exhale, hands down. Now, yogis, body come up. Now, release your hands. Now, from here, come forward. Take your time. Shoulder width, then up. Release. Find your mountain pose. Looking at your belly button. Bum up, trajectory. Now, put your knees on the floor. Slowly. Heart down. Now slide back, slowly, cobra. Take your time, take your time. Cobra. Press the toe, don't rush. Mountain pose. Look at your belly button. Now knees down. Now slowly. Try to put your heart down. Now slide back, cobra. Press the toe, bum up. Walk your feet, say three, so that your hip looks like a mountain. Last, knees down, the rush, hot, cobra, press the toe, hips, mountain. Now, left leg forward behind your wrist, back of the wrist, right leg, right wrist. Bend the knee, hand come up first, wing scale, inhale up, exhale up, inhale, hands up, shoulder width, dive from the hip,
palms down. Left leg go back, then the right. Look at your belly button. Hold the breath, knees down. Hot, slide back, cobra. Press the toe, hips like a mountain. Left leg forward, back of the wrist, then the right. Raise your hands, wing scale up. Exhale, hot. Inhale, hands up. From the hip, not from the shoulder, palms down. Left leg, go back. Then the right, look at your belly button. Knees down, heart down, cobra, hips, imagine a mountain, find your belly button, the word is fine, left leg forward, back of the wrist, now raise your hands slowly, body up, take your time, warrior one, please don't rush. Now, body come down, not the shoulder, body down. Hands on the floor, shoulder width. Go back, mountain. Knees down, heart down. Cobra. Bum, mountain. Find your belly button. Right leg come forward behind your wrist. Raise your hands slowly. Body come up. If you slow, don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. It's called non-violence. Take your time. When you're ready, body down. Then the hand, shoulder width. Then go back, mountain. Knees down, heart down. Cobra. Press the ten toes, push your bum up. Walk your toes, say three inch, so that your hip like a mountain. Left leg forward, left wrist. Right leg, right wrist. Raise your hands, wing scale. Inhale up. Exhale, hot. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hip, palms down, left leg back, then the right, look at your belly button, knees down, hot, inhale, cobra, bum up slowly, exhale like a mountain, left leg forward behind your wrist, Raise your hands first, body up, warrior one. Body down first, and then the palm, go back, mountain. Knees down, heart down. Slide back, cobra. Press the toe, bum up like a mountain. Take your time. Right leg come forward, raise two hands, body come up, warrior one, body down, then the palm go back, mountain, look at your belly button, knees down, hot, cobra, mountain pose. Left leg forward, then the right. Raise your hands first, body up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, hands up. Swan dive, palms down. All the way down, yogis. Left leg back, then the right. Look at your belly button. Knees down, heart. Cobra, hips like a mountain. If you slow, please don't rush. Left leg come forward, back of the wrist. Now raise your hands, 
body up. Then slowly, right hand on the floor. Turn your body to the left, left hand up. Look at the left hand. Left hand down, shoulder width. Now yoga's hand, shoulder width. Then go back, mountain. Knees down, heart. Cobra, hips, mountain pose. Right leg forward, right wrist. Raise two hands, body up, warrior one. Put the left palm on the floor, turn your body to the right, right hand up. Right hand down from the front, hand, shoulder width, go back, mountain, knees down, hot, cobra, mountain. This is number four. Take your time. Left leg forward, then the right. Raise your hands, wing scale, inhale up, exhale heart, inhale hands up, exhale hip, palms down. Left leg back, then the right mountain, knees down, heart. Cobra, mountain, left leg come forward, back of the wrist, raise two hands, body up, warrior one, right palm on the floor, turn your body to the left, left hand up, left hand from the front, down, shoulder width, go back, mountain. Knees down, hot, cobra, mountain. Can you breathe without stress? Right leg come forward. Raise two hands, body up. Left palm on the floor, turn to the right, right hand up. Right hand down. Shoulder width, go back, mountain, knees down, number five, heart, cobra, find your belly button, if it's slow, please don't rush, find your space, can you breathe without stress, bum up like a mountain, left leg forward, then the right, open your leg, Sturdiness, raise your hands, weighing scale, inhale up, exhale, heart. last, inhale, hands up, exhale, hip, palms down, left leg back, then the right, look at your belly button, don't breathe, knees down, heart. inhale, cobra, exhale, Mountain, find your belly button, left leg forward, back of the wrist, inhale, hands, body come up, the left leg forward, left leg, take your time, exhale, right palm down, turn your body to the left, left hand up. Inhale, left hand down, exhale, go back, mountain pose, pravatasana, knees down, hot, cobra, slow down if you need yogis, mountain is called non-violence, ahimsa, right leg come forward, raise two hands, body up. Left palm on the floor, turn your body to the right, right hand up. Right hand down from the front, hand shoulder width. Go back, mountain. 
knees down, hot, cobra. Now find your belly button, mountain. Left leg come forward, then the right. Raise your hands up. Exhale, hot. Okay, come yogi, sit down for me. Now, lie down, yogis. Come. Sleeping time. Hands like a T. Open your leg like a V. Now, only right leg up. Now, is that your best? Uh, you need to think. Close your eyes. Move from the hip joint, nothing to do with your neck or your shoulder. When you walk, you move the hip. Can you imagine you're trying to move the hip? Now, shaking is a good thing. Huh? Those are called your stabilizer muscle. You will feel the thigh without moving. To strengthen your knee and the hip joint. To tone up the thigh muscle. Now, I'm going to be very rough. Huh? Yogis, do not slack. Huh? Five more seconds. And exhale down. Comfortable. Left leg up. Inhale. Then exhale. Just think of the breath. Now just to push your mind. Is that your best? so that you don't stress the knee. You will feel the thigh muscle. Twenty seconds ago, yoga. Ten more seconds. And exhale down. Now right leg up. Now circle the right leg as wide as you can. Slowly wide. Can you go all the way down to the floor and all the way up? Close your eyes, Yogis. Close your eyes, realize it's harder. Not speed, but wide. As wide as you can. Endurance. How wide can you circle the hip? Not how fast. Good. 20 seconds to go. Ten more seconds. Now, same leg, reverse the other way around. Just reverse the movement. We're starting slow, you guess. Good. Thirty seconds to go.
10 more seconds. Right leg up, 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 up. And down. Now readjust your hips. Left leg up. Now circle slowly. Think of wideness. It's all about endurance. Like a marathon runner. It's called dynamic strength. Not how fast, like a sprinter, absolute strength. Realize, the slower, the harder. So slow down the movement. Endurance, like a marathon. 15 more seconds, you guess. To strengthen the knee and the hip. You will feel the thigh to strengthen the back and the stomach muscle. Now reverse the other way around. Supposed to be three minutes. You're here for one minute on the yogis. So realize it has to take a lot of mental effort. It's called antarangas, the inner part of your practice to challenge the mind. The pose is called external or physical part, bahirangas. 25 seconds to go, yogis. Do your best. And relax. Now turn to the right and come up sideways. Now straighten your leg like a V. Now right heel in. Then the left. Now if you can, yogis, don't slouch. Eh? Push the hip. It's a rotation joint forward. Hand straight. Clap only behind. Only behind, eh? clap. Now close your eyes and do it. Close your eyes. Clap behind. Clap behind. Inhale forward. Exhale, clap behind. Now not too slow. Eh? Not too slow. Can you have a little rhythm? Uh, rhythm a little bit. Good. Inhale in front. Just to remind you, clap only behind. Uh, don't use your neck. <laughs> use the shoulder. Don't use your neck. Uh. Uh, try not to use your neck. Remind yourself, shoulder, shoulder. Uh, you are, ah, don't use the neck. Ah, conscious is a very conscious thing. Ah, there you go. Ah. Slow down if you need. Thirty more seconds again. Thirty seconds ago. Ten more seconds. And relax. Now straighten your leg like a V. Left leg in. 
Right leg slightly out, say one o'clock. Raise the hands. Lean forward, say twelve o'clock. Can your forehead touch the floor? Using your body to come forward from the hip. Now, just to challenge your mind, is that the best of your space? Using your body to lean forward. Realize only you can push the mind and the body. I'm only asking you, is that the best of your space? Ten more seconds. Forty-five seconds, yeah. You feel behind the knee. Now exhale, just slide back up. Slide up slowly, slowly. Now left leg out. Now right leg in. Raise the hands. If you're ready, forward, yoga. Forward. What is your back? Forehead on the floor if you can find your space. The body is big muscle, it's called the trunk. Using the trunk muscle to open up the hip. You will feel behind the left knee. That's the ending part of your hamstring muscle. Fifteen seconds to go. Now exhale, slide back up slowly, slowly. Now straighten the leg together, ankles touching. Left leg in, right leg straight. Raise the hands. How far can you reach? What is your best? Can your forehead touch the shin bone? Hold the heel with your fingers. Elbow on the floor. Hold the heel, elbow down. Um, now, can your chin go below the knee? To the shin bone if you can. So you're leaning forward. Uh, forward, not downward. Now, how far can you move the body? Do your best, your guess. Realize it's all up to you, the mind and the body. Now inhale, hands up. Now exhale down. Now straighten the left leg, right leg in. Inhale, raise the hands. Reach, what is your best? Hold the heel, elbow down. Can you go below the knee to your shin bone? Good. Imagine the body is moving forward, uh, not downward, forward. Can you imagine that the breastbone is on the knee? It's called the heart chakra, anahata. Ten seconds to go. Now inhale, hands up. Now exhale down. Now don't move. The left heel come in. Come forward. 
find your mountain, looking at your belly button, push the bum up, knees down slowly, heart down, cobra. Now find your mountain, take your time. Now put your knees on the floor, knees down. Now your right toe, your right toe, 12 o'clock, the right leg. Put your knees down, put your knees down. The right leg come forward. Uh -huh. Your right leg forward. 12 o'clock, slowly, slowly, 12 o'clock. <laughs> don't rush, don't rush, 12 o'clock. Good. Now, left knee up. Left knee up. Now, right hand straight, 12 o'clock, your right hand. Right hand, 12 o'clock. Look at the floor, nothing to do with your neck. Can you straighten your right leg from this angle? Good, so your leg looks like a pyramid. Can you feel the last toe on your left without looking? It's called your proprioceptus. You stand on your feet. The left hand is only to balance the body. Can you imagine that your leg underneath looks like a pyramid? Thirty seconds to go, yoga. You're here for a minute. The last toe on your left is very important. Pressing the ball of the feet, your metatarsal bone. Ten more seconds. Right hand down, <laughs> left knee on the floor, right leg go back. Open your leg, open your hand, then mountain, bum up, then knees down, heart down, cobra, your bum like a mountain, then knees down, left leg in between your thumb, can we say 12 o'clock? Now move the toe above your nose, above the nose. Move the toe forward, your toe come forward, above your nose. Above your nose. Now right knee up. Left hand, say 12 o'clock, left hand. Now straighten both legs, so your leg looks like a pyramid. Don't force, huh? don't force. What is your best? Look at the left big toe. The neck is relaxed, easier to breathe through your throat. Thirty-five seconds to go, Yogis. You're here for a minute. Fifteen seconds to go. Put the left palm down, right knee on the floor, left leg go back, open your leg wide, now push your bum up, mountain pose, take your time, knees down, Hot. Cobra. Now find your mountain. Now knee on the floor. Right leg forward. 12 o'clock. In between your eyebrow, above your nose, so that your knee is behind the small toe. So that you don't hyperextend the knee. 
Left knee up. Raise your hands, body up. Take your time. Hands on your hip. Slowly lean forward. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Left leg up. Take your time. Don't rush. Looking at the right big toe. Good. Now, can you hold here for 45 seconds? This pose will make your body warm. You will feel very warm. That's the whole idea. Heating up your body without moving. Twenty seconds to go. Ten more seconds. Now slowly, hands on the floor, shoulder width so it's easier to balance. Now go back, mountain, leg wide, hands wide. Knees down, ha, cobra. Now find your mountain pose. Look at your belly button. Left leg forward to the middle, 12 o'clock. Raise your hands, body up, warrior one. Hands on your hip. Slowly lean forward like a stick. Right leg up, looking at the left big toe. Originally is called a stick pose, also known as warrior three. To strengthen the ankle, the knee and the hip, to tone up the bum and the thigh muscle, to stress your heart, you're feeling warm, but you're not moving because of the thyroid glands below the throat. Fifteen seconds to go, yogis. Hands on the floor, go back, mountain, knees down, hot, cobra. Now find your mountain, knees down. Now look at your knee. Can your right knee touch your nose? The knee come forward, look at your knee. Can the right knee touch your nose? Good. <laughs> Only asking. <laughs> right knee touch the nose. Not the nose touch the knee, yeah? Huh? Can you feel the stomach muscle, Yogis? Thank you. Don't force, huh? don't force. I'm only asking. Cannot touch, don't force, Yogi. <laughs> Cannot, don't force, don't force. Uh, don't force, it's not important. I didn't say must touch. Huh? I said can touch or not. It's not your leg is short. Huh? Okay, go back. Now, mountain pose, push your bum up, knees down, hot, cobra, don't rush your okay. guess. Find your mountain, look at your belly button, Manipura Chakra, knees down, 
Can your left knee try to touch your nose? The knee come forward. So you feel the core and the thigh muscle. Forward, nah? not sideways, forward. The knee to the nose. I repeat not to force you, yogis, to guide you. It's called tarma. You decide how much pressure you want to put on your body and your mind. 20 seconds to go. Ten more seconds. And down. Now find your mountain. Look at your belly button. Knees down. Hot. Cobra. Now mountain. Now... Put your knees on the floor. Now cross your ankle. Now slowly sit back. Take your time. Now straighten your leg. Can you face there? Open wide. Face there. Make sure your heel is on the mat because your heel is a bone. Huh? Uh, that's it. Now inhale, raise your hands. Now lean from your hip. Uh, look at your fingers. Body come down. Look at your fingers. Uh, only asking, uh, not from the hip. Uh, do your best. Imagine this. Can you press your V line forward? Uh, hands straight, hands straight, hands straight, so you don't fall on your face. Hands straight. Okay, look at your finger. No, no, look. Uh, body calm down, not your head. Ah, uh, okay. uh, you decide, you decide how far. Use your body to go forward, not your, not your neck, not your hand. Your hand only was slight. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, because your body will open the hip, uh, not your neck. So you need to find that space now. Slowly, you guess, slowly. What is your best? 30 seconds to go. Uh, realize, body, big muscle, the hip is the biggest joint. So can you use your body to open up the hip? Ten more seconds. To push the body, you need to push your mind. It's called mental force. Now, slide back up slowly, slowly, your guess. Okay, bend your knee, put your feet together, butterfly, come. Now, face forward, butterfly, can you face forward? Right ankle on top of the left knee. Right ankle, left knee. Leg out. Move your leg out. The bottom one up. Summer. Summer. No, up. Up. Come on. Uh, is it on top? Up. That leg up. High up. Higher up. No, no. Can you see where's my knee? Ah, okay. Uh, go forward. Ah, what is your best? Is that your best? I'm only asking. Ah, okay, good. Uh, can you feel the right bum? Up, up. The leg move up. Out some more. Uh, some more. Uh, some more, uh, some more slowly. <laughs> okay. Can you feel the bum muscle on your right? Move forward. No, no, forward. Where is forward for you? 
No, I'm only asking. Forward. Ah, what your forward? My forward hit on the floor. Uh, no, no. <laughs> what is forward for you? Ah. Okay, good. That's it. <laughs> That is yoga. Your best, your best, your space. It's a hip opener. 25 more seconds, yoga. Ah. You feel the bum muscle, huh? There you go. Ah, yes. <laughs> you feel that. Your sciatic nerves, they call it. Normally, you get back pain, it will be that the, the nerves are that part nerve. Okay, yogis, now slowly slide back up. Uh, okay, good. Now, full butterfly. Take your time. Okay, left ankle, see, on top of the knee, see, on top, leg out. So all you have to do, just move, where is forward, forward. So your leg, like you're putting a wood on top of each other. It's called a fire lock post. Now, can you go forward? Uh, relax your neck. Can you imagine this? Your belly button forward. Uh, what is your best? Your best, your best, your best, your best. Everything has to start somewhere where it's not important. 35 seconds to go. Fifteen more seconds. Ten to go, you guess. Now slide back up slowly, slowly. Now straighten your leg like a V inside of the mat. Good. Now, your right leg in. Now, right hand behind, left side of the mat. Left hand, come forward to the right side. Can we say you're facing behind 6 o'clock? Good. Now, can the top of your head touch the floor? Good. Can you feel the back? Behind your breastbone, huh? can you feel your upper back? It's called the thoracic bone. Do your best, your guess. Turning behind the breastbone, your upper back. Don't force, huh? Ah, good. Ten more seconds. Ten more. Five to go. Now, exhale up and turn. Now, straighten your leg like a V. Left leg in. Now, turn behind. Left hand go to the right side. Right hand come to the left side. Now, easy to understand. Can we say you are facing behind 6 o'clock? Now, can the left leg in? Uh, your left leg in? Ah, uh, then turn. Just to remind you only, yogis. Remember, I'm here to guide you. Forehead on the floor if you can. Not to rush you, not to correct you. Remember, you know when you can, you know when you cannot. You need to decide, don't doubt. If you think about it, you are challenging the mind and the body. 20 seconds ago, Yogi. Ten more seconds. 
twisting behind the breastbone, your upper back between the shoulder blade is called the thoracic. Exhale, push up and turn. Now don't move. Now the right leg come in. Right hand, left hand cross under, then try to come up and hold. Turn your face to the left, easier to breathe. Can the, turn to your left yoga. Can the right hand go behind your neck? It's easier for the right hand to go down with gravity. It's harder for the left hand to come up. It's against gravity. Now, can your forehead touch the left thigh? Now, how many fingers can you hold behind? Left. Very good. I'm only asking. I didn't say five, huh? Can you hold your wrist? Ah, cannot. No, I'm only asking you. Okay. You know better, and that's a fact. Yoga call it non-violence, ahimsa. Don't be too hard with your mind. What is the best of your space? Breathing, holding without stress. Sukha asan. Five more seconds. Now inhale, hands come up. Now release the right hand, then the left. Now left hand up, right hand underneath. Turn your face to the right, easier to breathe. Now imagine this, can the left hand come down with gravity? It's harder for the right hand to come up against gravity. Now, can your forehead touch the right thigh? Can you breathe without stress? Can you find that space? Twenty seconds to go, yoga. Inhale, up, 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 up. Exhale, remove the left, then the right. Okay, come yogis, lie down on your back. Hands like a T, lie down. And open your leg like an outside down V. Now close your eyes immediately. Remind yourself to relax the shoulder blade, to relax the bum. You cannot control the sound, you cannot control the light. What you can control is the state of your mind. Learn to read and write. You are here to learn to relax. Inhale, short breath. Inhale. 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 Right hand, pinch both sides of your nose. Pinch your nose and do not breathe, do not breathe, do not breathe, do not breathe, do not breathe. 20 seconds here. Don't breathe, don't breathe, your guess. Challenge the mind. Hands down like a T. Exhale, feel the nasal part of the nose. Inhale, feel the nasal. Learn to relax, yogis. Focus on the nasal when you exhale. Focus on your nasal inhale. If you are ready, inhale, inhale, inhale. 
Inhale. Right hand, pinch your nose, hold the breath. Mentally realize it's easier. You know you can feel the difference just by thinking. This is the hardest part of your practice, mental force. Ten more seconds, yogis, ten more. And realize it's easier to hold the breath. Hands down, exhale, feel the nasal part of the nose. Inhale, feel the nasal part of your nose. That is your focal point, this three. Realize when you exhale, the breath is longer. Realize when you inhale, your breath is deeper. It has opened up the nasal part of your nose. If you are ready, inhale, 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 inhale. Right hand, pinch your nose, hold the breath inside of the body, Anta Kumbhaka. This is the hardest part of your yoga practice. Can you challenge the state of the mind, mental force, antarangas? 15 more seconds. And release. That was 30 seconds. Slowly exhale, feel the nasal. Inhale. Feel the nasal part of the nose. Visualize red as your blood with your eyes closed in between your eyebrow. Exhale, feel your nasal. Inhale, feel the nasal. Visualize Red as your blood in between your eyebrow, your T-bone area. Red as your blood in between your eyebrow. Mentally realize when you exhale, your breath is longer. Mentally realize when you inhale, your breath is deeper. Now turn your body, yogis, to the left shoulder and come up sideways from your left. Take your time, Yogis. Please take your time. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Namaskar. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your holiday.